long COVID may be a myth. Mr. Reagan. All right, so I was just looking around at the news, different articles and whatnot, and I found an interesting study, or I found an article about an interesting study that indicated, this is a study out of France, and it indicated that long COVID, what's called long COVID or long haul COVID, might be a myth, might be mostly psychosomatic, or people are making connections where they don't exist. Now, I'd never heard of long COVID before reading about this French study, potentially debunking it. And so I don't really have a a horse in this race. I don't really care one way or another. If long COVID is a thing, okay. If long COVID is not a thing, okay. I'm just presenting the news as I've read it in my perusing of news. So long COVID, for those of you who don't know, or long haul COVID, is basically just once you're over your primary COVID symptoms and you're healthy again, there may be a few lingering symptoms which can actually persist, according to many people, for weeks and even months and with some people potentially more than a year it's pretty crazy because like the flu doesn't typically do that the cold doesn't typically do that so this is sort of an unusual effect of covid Uh, sort of like losing your taste or your smell that's something that's pretty much unique to covid so uh, i think people are kind of open to this idea that there are potentially these weird symptoms that that don't exist with other similar respiratory illnesses. But here's the interesting thing about this particular study, this French study. These French researchers took a bunch of people who who had long COVID, who said that they had long COVID, and they looked to see if they had ever in fact had COVID. And a lot of these folks never did. They had never contracted COVID. So you can't really have long COVID unless you've at some point contracted COVID, right? And yet they seemed to be exhibiting the same symptoms as the people who had had COVID and were reporting these long-term symptoms. At least, if they weren't exhibiting the symptoms, they were at least complaining about those symptoms. And they looked at it, they looked at the data, they looked at all the people who reported having these symptoms, and they realized that it was as likely to report symptoms if you had never contracted COVID as it was if you had contracted COVID. And they they surmised from that that one of two things was going on with a lot of these folks. Either it was completely psychosomatic and they weren't really suffering from any of these symptoms at all, or they were suffering from some kinds of symptoms for some other reasons, right? So it's, it's possible to have some other kind of viral infection, bacterial infection, something else going on with your life that's causing these symptoms, something else causing the symptoms that wasn't, and they're not a result of COVID. They're not related to COVID at all. That, so that's the theory. Either a lot of these people have symptoms that are unrelated to COVID and they're just applying them to COVID, or it's completely psychosomatic. Now, a lot of you out there have endured COVID, have have had long-term symptoms. I'm lucky enough that no one I know has had long-term symptoms. I know a lot of people who have had COVID, no one with long-term symptoms. So feel free to yell at me all you want in the comment section below. Again, I don't know one way or another whether this is true. Now, I'm going to go ahead and read the article that I found for you uh, so that we can get into the details of this. Maybe the article will convince you. Maybe you will not be convinced and you'll be able to express your views in the comments below. So I'm going to read that article. One moment. First, I have to sell you something. Had you bought $18,000 worth of Ethereum six months ago, you'd be sitting on $38,000 today. Yes, crypto is the fastest way to build wealth. And that's why Colin Plume, the CEO of Noble Gold, created MyDigitalMoney.com. MyDigitalMoney.com is the cryptocurrency platform that offers the best US-based phone support service. Forget the automated machine. MyDigitalMoney.com will answer your call. If you don't understand how a crypto IRA works, call the folks at MyDigitalMoney.com. If you need help on how to sell your crypto, call the folks at MyDigitalMoney.com. If you're worried about a controversy over one of your crypto investments, call the folks at MyDigitalMoney.com. And here's a special treat. If you're unsure whether crypto investing is even for you, just open up a Play Money account with MyDigitalMoney.com. Try trading without the risk. In fact, I'm actually going to do that as soon as I stop making this ad. So go to MyDigitalMoney.com right now and start building your wealth. All right, so let's take a look at this article, shall we? Uh, The article is entitled Mind Over Matter, Long COVID Study Sparks Controversy. And this is published on a site called Medical Express. I actually found the, um, the study it's referring to, and you can find that study 
on the JAMA Internal Medicine website. And that study, if you want to look it up, is called Association of Self-Reported COVID-19 Infection and SARS-CoV-2 Serology Test Results with Persistent Physical Symptoms Among French Adults During the COVID-19 Pandemic. That's the title of the study. But I'm going to read the article because studies are annoying to read. All right, so here we go. A large-scale French study suggesting symptoms of so-called long COVID may be more due to psychological factors than to infection with the virus has sparked debate among patients and scientists. The report that appeared earlier this week in the Journal of the American Medical Association. Oh, that makes that's what JAMA means. Journal of the American Medical Association. See, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical researcher, so I don't know these things. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Focused on nearly 27,000 participants across France who took antibody tests to screen for COVID infection. After the subjects had received the antibody test results, researchers asked them whether they believed they had been infected with COVID and to report on symptoms like fatigue, breathlessness, or impaired attention. The vast majority of respondents, over 25,000 people, tested negative for COVID antibodies and believed that they had never been sick. Okay, so most people tested negative and said i've never been sick so most people were most people were correct about their their having never been sick but of the some 1000 who tested positive about 450 believed that they had contracted the virus so only about half a little under half the people who had contracted covid ever knew that they had been sick that's a little disturbing although we kind of knew that that could happen because a lot of people are asymptomatic, right? Finally, about 460 people who received negative antibody tests, they never had COVID, said that they nonetheless believed that they had had COVID. So that's pretty crazy. People who'd never c contracted COVID believed they'd had COVID. So then researchers found that people who believed that they had COVID, whether or not they had a positive test, were more likely to report long-term symptoms. A positive antibody test, meanwhile, was only consistently associated with one long-term symptom loss of smell. They concluded that persistent physical symptoms may be associated more with the belief in having been infected with SARS-CoV-2 than with having laboratory-confirmed COVID-19 infection. The study, coordinated by Cedric Lamone, head of psychiatry at the Hotel Douy, head of psychiatry at the Hotel Dieu Hospital in Paris, suggested that the findings were important in order to allow research into other causes of the symptoms. A medical evaluation of these patients may be needed to prevent symptoms due to another disease being erroneously attributed to long COVID, it said. Right. So this is the this is the point I was trying to make earlier. The thought is perhaps people were infected with something else other than COVID, and that was causing these symptoms. And so this guy thinks it may be important to look into another maybe kind of pandemic that's going around <laughs> causing what people presume to be long haul COVID. But for patients suffering from these symptoms, the analysis feels like an attempt to discredit them. After the study was written up in a French daily Le Monde, patient support group Après J20, I used to know what 20 was in French, I don't remember, <laughs> alleged it could lead to stigmatization of people with long COVID. And some researchers have questioned the study's methods. Several reactions from experts published via the Science Media Center point out that serology tests for antibodies cannot always reliably measure previous COVID infection, with one researcher saying it could be particularly unreliable for people feeling sick months after infection. It, and actually, I have been provided this same information from a good friend of mine who's a neuroscientist who is studying COVID and that kind of stuff at the moment because of the pandemic. And, and he tells me that actually the, um, you know, these antibody tests are like of all the tests for COVID, they're the least reliable. So that could play play into this. Some research into hospitalized patients suggests long COVID patients can tend to have weaker antibody responses, said British virologist Jeremy Rossman. But long COVID is itself very poorly defined, and that makes research on the subject hard to frame. The French study alone uh, explored more than a dozen symptoms, including joint pain, sore muscles, fatigue, poor attention, skin problems, hearing impairment, constipation, dizziness, and more. The case definition is bad, said Perry Wilson of Yale University on the Medscape website. We have zero diagnostic tests and papers like this may be used to argue that it isn't even really a problem. Wilson said he knows from personal experience that people who get even mild COVID can experience serious symptoms for months afterwards. We need to recognize that vague symptoms lead to vague diagnoses and without clear criteria, we risk labeling a bunch of people with long COVID when that's not what they have at all, he said. Right, and so th this is just one of those problems that you get when you've got a new virus, you got a new illness, pandemic, whatever, and, you know, we really haven't had enough time to study it. And so, you know, scientists, researchers, doctors, they're making a lot of guesses 
about what's going on. And uh, this French study is great because it asks questions that maybe aren't being asked. Uh, and maybe, maybe this study is flawed, maybe it's wrong, but it should, I imagine, compel other researchers to do more research. And I imagine the people who did this research will be doing even more rigorous science in order to better clarify the data from the first study or or even to contradict it. Sometimes researchers do that, which is fantastic. They contradict their own work and they say, you know, my first study was terrible. And so if they can do that or they can verify their original findings, fantastic. And I hope more scientists follow up on this. I'm looking forward to seeing more articles about this kind of stuff. You know, I, I honestly, like, I'm kind of over the whole COVID thing. I'm over the masks. I'm over the lockdowns. I'm over all of it. I'm certainly over the passports and the, uh, you know, show your thing vaccination status to get into a restaurant or to have a job. I'm certainly over all of that. So uh, my hope is that Omicron is mild enough that it actually ends the pandemic. I know that that would be terrible for Joe Biden and the other Democrats who are using this to their advantage and to enact all these fascist dictates. But uh, it would be fantastic for the country. It'd be fantastic for the world if Omicron turns out to be so mild that it, it just ends the pandemic. That would be lovely. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I don't know if long COVID is real. I don't know if long COVID is psychosomatic. I don't know if other some other kind of ailment is being attributed to COVID. I don't know what's going on. I really don't. I just thought I'd bring this to you guys' attention. So again, let me know what you guys think. And that's it for me. So I do want to remind you because I have a new video up on my other channel called Mr. Pagan. It's a comedy video. It's very, very funny. I highly recommend watching it. I highly recommend sharing it if you can, because I'm trying to build up my um, my subscriber count on that channel. So if you could please share it, subscribe to that channel, have a look. I think it's a pretty funny video. And remember, it's not that our liberal friends are ignorant. It's just so they know so much that is not so. Good night. The destiny of man is not measured by material computations. When great forces are on the move in the world, we learn we're spirits, not animals. There's something going on in time and space and beyond time and space, which whether we like it or not, spells duty.